my very first paid promotion on TikTok, I got paid $80. When that $80 hit my bank account, boy, I was ready to quit my job. How's it going everyone? Dino Cornell here, AKA the ultimate nerd. We finally made it back to YouTube. And today I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I went from working a nine to five job to making TikToks full time. And I know it sounds something simple to do, right? Cause you already have a lot of gaming creators out there who have the platform, who have a following on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or any other social media platforms out there. They can just go in and they can take their followings to TikTok and it's easy. But I have absolutely nothing, zero. No one knows who I am. So I downloaded TikTok two years ago. I downloaded it just like everybody else, as a joke. You watch 15 second funny videos and that's the end of it, right? Now most of my friends on Facebook are from the Philippines, so we're slightly ahead of the curve. We had TikTok a little bit earlier. I'm just scrolling on Facebook and all of my friends are like, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Everyone's posting their own trends. Everyone's posting their dance videos. So I'm like, hmm, let me go ahead and check this out. Let me try this app real quick. So I downloaded the app and within like the first 15 minutes, I'm stuck. I'm just like scrolling on TikTok, right? Trying to curate my feed, trying to like all the gaming contents, trying to like all the funny stuff, the trends and all that. So in the beginning, I didn't really get it. But the more I scrolled, the more I figured it out. Now, I've always loved creating content. As a matter of fact, if you look at my YouTube, if you scroll all the way down, my YouTube has been here forever. And there's a lot of content on my YouTube from like 15 to 20 years ago. And I've always known deep inside that I wanted to create videos. But there's one big problem. I literally don't have the time to make the commitment to do YouTube videos when I have to work and TikTok changed all of that. I finally found a platform that could satisfy my hunger for creating content without having the time commitment. So after about a few days on the app, I decided, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my first video. And this is the very first TikTok that I uploaded. I'm gonna show it to you guys without the sound, but I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna figure it out just based from the entire video itself. I thought I had the best idea, right? I thought I made the best TikTok ever. So I filmed it, uploaded it. <laughs> I got a total of eight views, eight views, that's it. That video was so bad, it's embarrassing, but I kept it there, I did not delete it. And for the next few days, for the next few months, I just kept uploading and uploading. But what I was trying to do was I was forcing myself to go viral. I was watching the trends, I was watching what other people are doing, and I was just copying other people's content. And then one day I was just scrolling through TikTok and then it hit me. Every single video that I enjoy watching are not trends. It's just people having fun, doing their thing, and being extremely relatable. So from there, I'm just like, man, I'm just gonna create videos that I enjoy doing. But there's one problem. I don't know how to do anything. I only know how to play video games. Video games is the only thing I ever did growing up. And even if I decided to make a gaming content, there's an even bigger problem. I'm a grown adult with responsibilities and a full-time job. I don't have the time to play. So what the hell did I do? Well, <laughs> I started making TikToks about those problems. I started making TikToks about going home, trying to play games, I'm too tired. I started making TikToks about, oh, I can, now I'm making adult money, I can buy all these games, but I don't have the time to play it. And then finally, people started picking up. People started finding my content, people started relating to it because it was so relatable. It's literally the same situation every single adult gamer of my age is going through. So I just kept doing that. I would just make TikToks about the life of an adult gamer, like the struggles that we go through on a daily basis. And I think at about 10,000 followers, I started getting brands reach out to me. I started getting some free products. I started getting, you know, a bunch of other things. And I was just taking it all in. And then when I hit 100,000 followers, that's when the game changed. That's when I landed my first paid promotion. And you wanna know how much I got paid? <laughs> my very first paid promotion on TikTok, I got paid $80. At 100,000 followers, I made $80 on one TikTok video. <laughs> Let me tell you, when that $80 hit my bank account, boy, I was ready to quit my job. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be making so much money. I'm glad I did it because $80 is not gonna pay the bill. But really, all jokes aside, it wasn't even about the money. What, what that deal gave me, what it did to me, it gave me hope that I could actually do this for a living. Like brands would actually pay me $80 to be on my TikTok channel. <laughs> Let's go! So from there, it just kept going. I've managed to put out several viral hits. And for the next year and a half, I was all in. 
I was making three to five TikToks a day. I was taking sponsors left and right. I was just taking as much sponsors as I can without compromising the actual channel. And because I did all that, I was able to slowly learn the craft of TikTok. I was learning how to create ads. I was learning how to communicate with brands. I was learning how to negotiate prices. I was learning how to keep people engaged. I was learning how to hit deadlines, time management. Because at that time, there was no tutorial. No one is gonna teach you that. There was no blueprint. Everything is so new that we didn't know what to do. We all had to learn everything. So for two years, I haven't had a vacation. I haven't had a day off. I was juggling my full-time job and TikTok. And here we are today. So I've finally gotten to a point where the only way for me to keep growing my platforms, my TikTok, my Instagrams, my social, is to give up my full-time job. So I did. And for those of you guys wondering what that job was, I was a full-time store manager for a very long time. I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but if you want that whole story, it's actually posted on my Instagram. So go ahead, go to Instagram and find me, at Dino Cornell. So why am I doing this? What's the whole point of this video? I'm making this because I want every single one of you guys to have a realistic view on what it's like being an average adult like myself trying to turn his passion into a career. That's right, I'm gonna go out here and try to make a living doing something I love and each and every one of you guys are gonna see me fail miserably or succeed, but we're gonna find out. So hold on to your seats because this is just the beginning and remember, you were here first and you're gonna be seeing a lot more of the ultimate nerd videos on every social platforms i'm gonna be on tiktok i'm gonna be on facebook i'm gonna be on instagram i'm gonna be on youtube i'm gonna be everywhere you can't escape the ultimate nerd so i'll see you guys everywhere and if you have any questions anything i missed on this story anything you're wondering about put it on the comment section and i'll try to answer as much as i can or maybe we'll do a follow-up video that's it bye